Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Rune Factory 5. I just finished taming the 21 different bosses that can be tamed in this game. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. And it may sound a bit overwhelming at first, but it's actually a lot easier than it sounds. First, I'll go over the general rules and tips you should know for taming the bosses. Then I'll go over each boss one by one. I'm gonna be putting timestamps, so if you're worried about spoilers, feel free to take a look so you know when to stop watching if you haven't met a certain boss yet. And with that being said, let's start. One question I know will come up a lot is which is the best boss, which one should I tame? And honestly, even though they're generally stronger than regular monsters and they have cooler abilities, they're also not really game changing, they're not overpowered or anything, so I would just say go with the one that you think looks the best. The only one I think is a must have is the Nine Tailed Fox because it is the fastest mount in the game so it's a very useful one to go around very quickly. Also unfortunately the bosses don't drop items once they're tamed or if they do it must be extremely rare because I never got anything so if you are expecting to get tons of rare items daily that's not happening so just keep that in mind. You should also know that before taming a boss you do need to beat it at least once in the main story then you can go back the next day and try taming it and it will reappear appear once a day so you don't have to worry about missing your chance if you kill the boss by accident or anything like that, you can always try again the next day. Like any monster you can brush a boss in order to increase your chances of taming it, every time you brush a music note will appear above its head until you've brushed 15 times which is the maximum and then the music notes will stop appearing. For most of the bosses it's actually pretty hard to see the music notes so I usually just count my way up to 15 so I know when to stop. If you're just starting to brush a boss or any monster and no music note appears at all, this means that it simply cannot be tamed, so not all bosses can be tamed unfortunately, only 21 of them can. So once you're done with the brushing, you need to give the boss some items that they like, and contrary to regular monsters, they have very specific taste, so if you're not careful, you'll never be able to tame them, you really do need to give them the items that they like, and every time you give them an item that they like, you will see a little heart icon for a bit, then it will randomly be followed by either a bigger heart if it's successful or a skull if it fails. If you get the skull icon from the very start, so there's no heart at all to begin with, this means that you either give them an item that they don't like, that all of your bards are full, or that your taming skill is too low. In other words, it's not gonna work, so just make sure there's a little heart icon at first when you give them an item. And lastly, keep in mind that you can only give up to 10 items to a bus, and after those 10 items, it will always fail. So what I would recommend is to get 10 of the items that they like, save your game before encountering the boss, brush it 15 times, give your 10 items, and if it hasn't been successful, just reload and try again. Before we talk about our first boss, one thing I learned recently is that all bosses like one of the four starfall crops, which you can grow with the starfall seeds. I made a video on how to grow these crops, so feel free to check it out. Unfortunately at the time I didn't know they could be used to tame bosses but now that you know if you have any starfall crops it might be a good idea to keep them for this purpose but don't worry if you don't have any starfall crops I also don't have a lot and in this video I'm gonna be telling you other items you can use. Keep in mind that there might be other items that these bosses like this video is not the complete exhaustive list but these are the ones that I tried and I know that they worked for me. Alright, so let's start with the first boss, which is my favorite one and the one I would recommend everybody to have because as I said, it's the fastest mount in the game. And luckily, it's also the very first boss and that's the Nine-Tailed Fox. So you can find the Nine-Tailed Fox in the Whispering Woods, which is gonna be the first dungeon. It likes Starfall Strawberries, which you're probably not gonna have at the beginning of the game. It also likes Tempura, which is a level 36 recipe using the frying pan, which I think you probably won't have if you're trying to tame this boss very early in game. But luckily, it also likes the Nine-Tailed Fox Bell. So these bells are actually dropped by the fox. So you can either beat the fox every day and accumulate those bells, but an easier way would be to use your spell seal. So the first thing you'll have to do is to target the boss by pushing on the right thumbstick, and then you're gonna see this little circle, and in the middle of the circle you'll see a lock icon, and if you wanna steal an item from a boss using your spell seal, you have to wait until the lock icon goes away, and every boss has a different timing, but for the nine-tailed fox, you actually have to reduce its health a little bit. So give it a few hits until the health bar goes from blue to purple or red works as well. But once their health is lower, their attack pattern will actually change. And now you'll have some instances where you see that the luck icon disappears. 
So as soon as you see that, you just press on ZL very quickly and then you're gonna throw your spell seal and it will steal an item from the fox. So you're gonna have a pretty high chance of getting the 9 tailed fox bell, but sometimes you'll get nothing, if you get nothing you can try again, sometimes you're gonna get a different item, but keep in mind you can only steal an item once. So after that what you wanna do is make sure you don't kill the boss, otherwise you're gonna have to come back on the next day. Just teleport back to the Whispering Woods and come back to the area where the bus is. So you just keep doing this and you accumulate the bells. And once you have enough bells, just save and then you can try taming the fox. Alright, so now let's go to the second bus and now that you know how things work, we're gonna go a little bit faster. So this one is Cerberus, it's in the Belfa Ruins on level 3. It likes Starfall Strawberries and it also likes Cheesecake, Chocolate Cake and Cake. The easiest one of these three recipes is gonna be the cheesecake. It's a level 46 recipe that you can make in the oven. So it's gonna take a little while maybe before you learn this recipe, but it doesn't need any complicated ingredients or anything hard to find. So as soon as you're gonna be able to make some cheesecake, you can go and try taming Cerberus. Next we've got a Needle Beast. So this one can be found in Gadius Grasslands. It likes Starfall Pumpkins, as well as King Cabbage, Royal Carrots and Lordly Yam. So these are all the giant versions of these crops. So if you don't know yet, in Rune Factory 5 you can plant crops in a little 2x2 square. And then you can use the Gigantizer, which is an item you can buy at the flower shop or you can also craft it with the chemistry set. So this is gonna be a lot easier to do once Ludmilla moves in and opens the flower shop. And then you just put a few of these items on your soil and then you wait until it grows. So in this case it's the cabbage, the carrots and the yam. So just get the giant versions of these crops and you're gonna be able to tame the needle beast. Next we've got the geyser bear. So this one can be found in the bandit king's old base on the first floor. It likes starfall corn as well as salmon. So you can fish for salmon in Rigbarth, but since there's so many different fish you can get in Rigbarth, the chances of getting salmon are pretty low. A good place I go to to find salmon easily is in the ice caves on the first floor. Just go where there's water and try to aim for the bigger shadows and you're gonna be able to get salmon very easily there so just get a few salmon there in the ice caves and then you should be able to tame the geyser bear pretty easily. Still in the bandit king's old base, this time on the second floor we've got the mysterious lizard. So this one likes starfall corns and also likes spectacles which is a level 7 hat, so it's a recipe you can make pretty early in game. To craft a pair of spectacles, you're gonna need two aquamarine gems, and the earliest place to find those would be in Belfa Ruins on the second floor. Next is the Dragon Golem. This one is still in the Bandit King's old base, but on the third floor. This one likes Starfall Potatoes, as well as Rockfish and Sand Flounder, so both of these fish will be found pretty late in game in Thundering Waste on the first floor. Just look for the little area with the pond, Rockfish is extremely rare, however you'll find a lot of sand flounder, actually that's pretty much the only thing you're gonna find in this pond, and you can accumulate a lot of them very quickly. So the three bosses I just talked about, Geyser Bear, Mysterious Lizard, and Dragon Golem, you're gonna find variations of them in Basara Hideaway, so there's gonna be the Green Kaiser, the Dark Lizard, and the Volcanic Dragon, so these ones have the same likes, and they're also on the first, second, and third floor in order, but in Basara Hideaway, so it's gonna be the same thing for them. Then the next bus is Hecaton Shire and this one you'll find in the depths of the Kelb Lava Caves. This one likes Starfall Potatoes as well as Tuna and Marlin Tuna and this is the one I actually struggled with the most. So Tuna can be caught in Rigbard's Lake as well as in the ocean but it's pretty rare and as far as I know it's not available in spring so you can only get it in summer, fall or winter. I think it might be easier to get in the evening but it's just like a pretty rare fish. However after upgrading the general store for the first time you're gonna be able to buy fish from Hina and she's gonna have a rotating stock of fish every day. So there's gonna be a chance of her selling some tuna, so just keep an eye on the general store and check with Hina if she has some tuna. And as for the Marlin tuna, you can get it with the tag team fishing, but you're also gonna need a lot of luck. I actually spent two hours resetting the same day just doing the tag team fishing just to get the footage of me getting this Marlin tuna, but it took me such a long time. So I think the best bet for this bus would be to just 
go to the general store and try to buy some tuna there. Next one is the Deader Tree. So this one is in the Forest of No Return. It likes Starfall Strawberries as well as Greenifier Plus or Formula C. So these are products that you can either craft with the chemistry set. They're level 64 and 72 recipes, but I think by this time in the game, you probably already know how to make them. And you're also gonna be able to buy them from the flower shop. Next, we've got Medusa. So this one can be found in Thundering Waste. It likes Starfall Pumpkins, as well as Lightning Horns, which you can obtain from the goblins in the area. So you can use your spell seals or just kill the goblins. And it's not that rare of a drop. So if you just farm the goblins for a few minutes, you should be able to accumulate a few Lightning Horns. Then we've got the Wood Golem. This one is gonna be the Seed Floating Fortress on the first floor. It likes Starfall Pumpkins as well as Auricalcum, which you can find in the first floor of the Rigbarth Maze. And it also likes Ultra Toy Herb, which is the giant version of the Toy Herb. Next, we've got Ares. So this one is in the Seed Floating Fortress as well, but on the second floor, and it likes Starfall Strawberry, as well as Wooly Furball. So the Wooly Furball you can get from the Wooly Kings, which can be found in Yumina Lake, as well as Cloudheim. However, these are very rare drop. So I think the best way to get the woolly fur balls is to check Hines rotating stock. So just go to the crystal shop when Hines is there. The stock is gonna change every day, but he has a chance of selling the woolly fur ball. So if you ever see those woolly fur balls in his shop, make sure you stock up on them. Next we've got Edumbla, and this one is also in the seed floating for the rest, but on the third floor it likes Starfall Pumpkin as well as Diamond, so you can get Diamond from the Rigbart Maze on the third floor. So for the remaining bosses, you'll find all of them in Rigbart Maze on the different floors. And first, on floor 2 and floor 6, you're gonna find the Blazing Hecaton Shire and Murder Beast. And these ones have the same requirements as the regular Hecaton Shire and the Needle Beast. Next, we've got Hell's Pincers, which is on the 8th floor of the maze. This one likes Starfall Corn, but if you don't have Starfall Corn, you just have regular corn, then you can make some popcorn, which is a level 51 frying pan recipe. And that's what I use to tame this one. Then on the 12th floor, we've got Garen. And this one, even though it really looks like Cerberus, it actually likes different things. So it likes Starfall strawberries. And instead of cake, it likes flan as well as the pumpkin flan. So flan is a level 29 recipe. It requires the steamer and then just egg and milk. So by this time in the game, you surely already have everything you need to make it. Then let's go to floor 14th of the maze and we're gonna meet Schubert. And this one likes Starfall Corn as well as Melody Bottles. So Melody Bottles can be dropped from the Sirens and all of the other mermaid type monsters. And if you go back to floor 7 in the maze, you're actually gonna find a ton of these monsters. So you're gonna be able to get lots and lots of Melody Bottles very quickly. So that's very easy for Schubert. Last, if you don't like spiders, feel free to look away on the 16th floor of the maze. You're gonna find Arachne. And this one likes Starfall Strawberries as well as Spider Jaws. So you're gonna be able to find Spider Jaws from Spiders. And you can also give her some Grape Liquor. So that's what I used. It's a level 39 recipe that you can make with the pot. It only requires Grape and Wine. You can buy Wine from the General Store. And you can get Grapes from the Grape Trees. So she's very easy to tame. But anyway guys, so that's pretty much it. So these are... The 21 bosses you can tame in Run Factory 5. I hope I didn't forget any boss. Let me know which one is your favorite, which one you think looks the coolest. For me, I really like the Deader Tree. It reminds me of Wispy Woods from Kirby and I like Medusa as well. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Run Factory 5 content like this. And I'm gonna see you all in the next video.